top 10 plays for Star Series I-League Season 7 in Shanghai, China. There's a lot of simple. I hope you like simple highlights. We'll get to him later, but he's all over the place. Number 10, it's Sergey from Entz versus Vici Gaming. He smoked off from his teammates. He's all alone. The only one to defend mid, and he's going to do it with one magazine. Four kills, 19 and 13 on the map, 110 ADR, and a 16 to 6 win in the group stage, getting the ace with the pistol. Number nine, Electronic saved this AK in the previous round while the rest of his teammates have just pistols. He had to bait them all, and he does it beautifully. He racks up 24 kills in this first map of the Grand Finals versus Fnatic. Got five of them here to shut down this retake and keep Navi on the board and keep them in a strong position. Another ace at the B-bomb site of Mirage at number eight. This time it's Jacob, and he's going to be sneaky about it grabs Zeus and Flamey before they even really know what's happening. He's had phenomenal form lately, Jacob, and he's got 113 ADR in this map as Renegades win at 16-8, but they would go on to lose this series to Na'Vi. Part of the reason why Renegades have been such a dangerous team is the step up that Jacob has put in. All the love being shown to Forrest lately, so we're going to give some to get right at number 7. This legend showing he's still got some left in the tank, putting a difficult ace on the board in the very first round of the series. Nip would go on to a narrow victory 16-14 and a narrow victory 2-1 in the series over North. And Get Right, unfortunately, just needed that one extra bullet. We're still going to give it to him. I told you we'd get to simple later on, and here we go. I feel bad this one isn't higher on the list because it, this sequence is something else. It's simply jaw-dropping. The raw power of simple backed up by poison control, and this transfer is so disgusting. But round wins count in this game, and he wasn't able to pull it out. Still pretty astounding nonetheless. Right into number five, we're going to stay with simple. It's a one versus three, and simple knows where everyone is coming from in the clutch, and that's usually a bad sign for his opponents. A disgusting follow-up, and a literal 360 no-scope, as this guy was unreal all event long. It's gonna take something special to break up the highlights of Simple's MVP run, but Twist is up for it. Watch this. Fluffs the start, but recovers and hits four difficult shots with very little cover, very little positioning to work with. Twist holds out of the B-bomb site all alone, all headshots. He goes 26 and 20 with 104 ADR, and Twist helps power Fnatic's Dark Horse run to the finals. Back to Simple. 29 and 15 over 100 ADR for Simple, looking for revenge in this grudge match versus Entz. They're gonna miss the timing by half a second to punish his plant, and that's all he needs. This event was a highlight reel for Simple. Look at the tops of these leaderboards. Kill death differential plus 166. First damage per round, first in kills per round. First in total kills was 439. 55 kills over number two. 58% of the rounds at this event, he had more than one kill. He was a freak. This isn't simple. This is Nico, and he's gonna remind you all that he's still around. This is it's just so disgusting. He's delivering so much pain to pain gaming in this clip with the scout as well. It's a beautiful thing. He gets so close and he deserves the ace. But this kind of play wouldn't stop throughout the map. Nico went 30 and 12 with 112 ADR. A dominant win for FaZe. Top play of the event. It's not necessarily special, the Simple's ever growing catalog of highlights, but it's the time left in the round, the awareness when Simple has to force all these fights at the end in a one versus three. It's so nasty, and Nip is going to be made to look a little bit silly, even inspecting his weapon for the style points. All five kills. Another ace for Simple as he gets an MVP of Star Ladder.